So the Lions are doing something that they have done the last couple years. They are building a tradition here uh, under Brad Holmes. I love the draft picks. We're talking about the Detroit Lions draft so far in the first three rounds. So yesterday and today. Uh, we're going on, what, 11 o'clock. And uh, Detroit has had five draft picks. Now, let me preface this by saying the NFL is getting closer and closer to college football and vice versa in a multitude of areas. Quarterback means too much in both sports, in my opinion. Every quarterback needs a team around them to succeed, and uh, that's what Detroit has right now. Um, they're really young, the youngest team on the defense in the NFL, and probably one of the youngest teams, one of the two youngest teams in the NFL total. But uh, potential is the most important thing in both sports. That's another way that they are similar. And uh, both are getting younger because of that. Neither one wants to play the older, uh, pay the older guy to stay. And uh, it's kind of hurting both sports, in my opinion. New, uh, the new college rules as well are an NFL-type precedent where you have running clock after a uh, first down and then uh, running clock in general until a two-minute warning, <laughs> basically, in college now. You can't call two timeouts in a row in college anymore either. That's another new rule. But both are selling what makes them great. They're selling out what makes them great for more TV ad revenue. Advertising is killing this country. Uh, instead of tuning in to watch a game, you're watching half the time it's some ad for Pfizer or any kind of pharmaceutical or car company or etc. And I don't see that changing, but Detroit has gotten a whiff of that and they realize that that is where you need to be. You need to be young. You need to be exceptional at every position and then find the quarterback. And I think that's just what they're doing. And the quarterback right now and Jared Goff is not <laughs> someone to laugh at he was really good last year Detroit won six of the last eight games down the stretch uh, they went eight and nine overall I believe in the NFL they were one one score game away from making the playoff last season and it could have been their first playoff win in the last 30 years they haven't won one in the last 31 years. So uh, let's not forget that there is a free agency after this draft and Detroit has great cap space to target some certain needs, but let's just go ahead and talk about what they got in this draft. And uh, in the first round, they got two players. They traded down from number six to number 12 uh, to get Jim Mir. Gibbs from Alabama. He had 2,100, well, Alabama via Georgia Tech. But in his college career, he had 2,132 yards, 5.6 yards per run, 15 touchdowns. And then on the receiving end, he had 1,212 yards receiving, 11.8 per reception, and 8 touchdowns. So I love that pick. I loved it because not only do we replace – DeAndre Swift, I think, with that pick, but we will get capital for Swift in a trade here coming up after the draft, probably. Uh, another number one pick, Jack Campbell, linebacker. And this is another thing that I love. Detroit was not reaching for any player. In fact, I think they set the trend for most of these players taken. Uh, they took the second running back overall with Jameer Gibbs, and then they took the number one linebacker in the draft, and then after that, a couple linebackers. I think one linebacker right after that went 
from Iowa, Jack Campbell, had 258 tackles in his last two years and four interceptions. So that's pretty good. And with Dan Campbell and that system and that culture that he has, I think Jack Campbell will fit right in beautifully. I love it. Uh, and we got that number two. This next pick came from the trade down from number six. And uh, it was tight end Sam Laporta from Iowa as well. And Laporta burned uh, the University of Michigan a couple of times last season. But uh, he is Iowa's leader in the history for uh, multiple, multiple categories. He is a beast, and I like him. He's a pass catcher, a gift for Jared Goff. Also, in the second round, we traded up. Uh, Green Bay gave us this pick to get safety Brian Branch from Alabama. He started as a freshman at Alabama, had 82 tackles in two seasons there. His first two seasons, it was amazing what he could do there at Alabama. You know, Nick Saban, with all that talent that he has, this young guy stepped up and delivered. And then in the third round, I, and we'll see if uh, Detroit trades up for multiple third round picks, but we took quarterback Hendon Hooker, great value. Like all these, all these positions were needs as well, except for Hendon Hooker. We didn't really need him. I thought maybe take a cornerback at this position or trade down, but where Hendon Hooker was, the value was there and we could deal him if we needed to as well. Uh, he won 10 games at Tennessee. Need I say more? This guy is electric. He did have that uh, knee surgery. And we'll see if he can rival Jared Goff for that starting position. If he can, maybe we trade Goff. I'm not tied to any quarterback. I love the team that the Detroit Lions are building. So there you have it. Detroit is doing awesome. Brad Holmes after the Penny Sewell, Amon Rossi Brown, all the guys, Aiden Hutchinson, he is killing the first three rounds of this draft. And he can identify talent later on too. Michigan, and that's the beautiful thing about Detroit is they don't need anybody because they're so young, they're so talented, the potential is already there. We just got to wait a couple of years. I think this year maybe is the year where they break through and win a playoff game at the very least. And that is signs of improvement, <laughs> of course, for this team. They haven't won one in 31 years, like I said. So I'm happy with uh, Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes running this show. And it all started with Martha taking over as owner of this uh, program. So there you have it. Remember to like the video, share, subscribe, and we'll see what Detroit does in rounds four through seven. We need that kicker. We need Jake Moody later on. I think he is draftable and we don't really need anything else. So let's just go get him late, 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 late. But I, uh, you know, who am I to say what Detroit should do when Brad Holmes is killing it? It's killing it. I love this draft so far. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night.